In this video, I'll show you how to create a maple graded question. So first let's put a name here. I'll just call it limit. And then I'll type in the, the text of my question here. So I'm going to ask them to calculate a limit. So here's my question. I want them to do uh, calculate the limit of um, sine x over x as x approaches zero. So below that we'll insert a response area. And I'll choose the question type to be maple graded on the left. So first, I'll leave the weighting the default of, of 1, but I could change it if I want to. Um, answer. So I know the answer, and, and many of you probably do as well. The answer of the limit in this case is 1. Um, but I could just simply type in maple code to do that for me. So I could say limit, and the first parameter would be the function, so sine x over x, and then I'll have it be as x equals 0 approach to zero. So you can type in whatever you want here for the answer. It can be the actual answer, it could be a formula, a number, or in this case I can actually type in maple code and maple will calculate whatever I type here and store it as a variable called dollar sign answer. So this is great because you can actually do very powerful algorithmic questions where you can have algorithmic variables within your answer field, but you yourself don't have to calculate that ahead of time. You just type it right here and Maple will do it for you. That's what make this, makes this Maple graded question so powerful and unique. Now, going a little bit further though, you can also customize the grading code below. So by default, it simply does, uh, you know, take the correct answer, which is stored as dollar sign answer. It then subtracts the student's response and if that equals zero, then eval b returns true. If it doesn't equal zero, then eval b returns false. This is a Boolean evaluation, if you would. So you can, again, customize this using any grading code, any commands for Maple, packages. You can do for loops, if statements for partial credit. Um, it's very powerful. In this case, I'll modify this just slightly. Instead of saying just you know eval b and then answer minus response, I'll put the simplify command here. So it will simplify a little bit further in case there's a you know students type in one or they they they, they type in 1.0 just want to make sure it equals zero simplify will make that happen for me but again i can put whatever i want here very powerful and just as a reminder dollar sign answer is what you typed in above in the answer field here that's what gets stored as that variable and dollar sign response is what the student types in as their response now expression type um, there are two to choose from, formula or maple syntax. So formula is what you'll expect students to type in with formulas or equations or numbers. It's um, In this case, you'll see below that they have the option to choose between text entry or, or symbolic. Maple syntax means the student actually types in maple programming language for their response. This is useful for two reasons, in my opinion. The first is that if you're doing a, a course on programming or the maple language, then they can actually be great on if they know the syntax properly. Um, as well, though, you'll notice that below that, they have the option between text entry and symbolic. So um, this is great because the equation editor allows you to do matrices. And in this case, it gets interpreted as maple syntax. So to do a question um, that involves a matrix or a vector, um, it's most important to change expression type to maple syntax and symbolic entry um, only. Now below that, there are some options for um, a maple repository if you have custom commands or plotting code or custom previewing code. I'll leave those a blank for now. Um, click OK. And we are finished the question. Now, there is a lot of power to this question. We have a lot of examples in the documentation, so make sure you look at those, as well as review the help in maple itself to learn more about the commands and the routines that you can use within this question type. I'll save it and show you a quick preview. So how did I do? Well, the answer is one. I got it correct in this case. And that's how you create a maple graded question.